So, ich bin wieder da. Hallo. 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 We have some minutes um, left, so I wait until everyone is there. No, wenn jemand Deutsches hier ist, Deutsch war um 18 Uhr, das heißt von einer Stunde, ähm, da findet ihr die Aufzeichnung für 24 Stunden in etwa in der Insta-Story. Wie es auf YouTube ist oder in der Livestream hingewandert, das weiß ich gar nicht. Okay, now in English, I only take the chance to, if, if there is somebody um, German speaking, I only take the chance to give the information that uh, the German version is uh, saved in my Instagram story for 24 hours. I don't know how long or <laughs> how the, the, um, the video is to find on Instagram. Hi Kathleen! Ja, deshalb lasse ich das hier noch einen Moment liegen. And a hello from USA. Hello Linda. I'm glad that you're here. We have some minutes left before I start. Um, I will give everyone the chance to be here. Um, yes, yeah, so sorry in advance if my English isn't so fantastic because I had English in school, that's right, but everything was forgotten. And um, every English that I speak today, I learned it um, because of you, thank you, through the communication, through YouTube and Facebook and all this. And I love to learn um, languages. Maybe I learn Spanish next because I love to travel um, to Ibiza. <laughs> okay, everybody, everyone there. Um, we have two further minutes. Um, thank you, Linda. I give my best to, to learn every day some new words in English um, and it's okay for me also to, to I love to uh, write in English also. Um, sometimes I need a, a translation tool but then it goes in my brain and I keep it there. Okay, should we start? I am online on two uh, channels. So, um, ich Benny Osterby, 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 I don't know. Ich weiß nicht, wie es funktioniert. I don't know how it works to go online um, or to go live with a further person. Maybe somebody can give me a, uh, an information about this. Okay. So I am live on two channels, that means um, that I look to two um, devices and I will read every of your comments, comments then, um, but maybe it's not possible for me to answer just in time, but I will give your answer later um, to everybody of you if you have something to ask me. Okay, um, <clears throat> in this live video, I would like to show you how easy it can be to paint um, some little abstract flowers because um, the most people um, makes it very complicated for them own and it should not be like that. You can have a lot of fun in uh, while painting in easy, easy ways. Um, so what you need, here you can see the eye that I did um, in another live video. Okay, what you need is a flat paintbrush like this, and it should be dry, okay? Because a wet paintbrush is doing something something different um, in another way than a wet one <laughs> or a dry. Yes, a, a dry paintbrush does something um, different than a wet. Okay. 
So my paintbrush was standing too long in the water because I, I did the German life before. And if you have a small paintbrush like this, it's possible to, to dry it with a simple paper towel. And I will do it. Um, you can use a flat paintbrush, which is larger or smaller. That would not be the problem, but you should take care that you have a paintbrush with a clean shape here. I hope that you can see it, a clean shape like this. I always do something like that to keep it clean. Okay, it makes a difference if you use a paintbrush like that. So this one, we don't need something like that for the moment. Okay, so you need a paintbrush like this and you need acrylic color, um, some paper towels and only simple printing paper like this. Okay, it's possible also to do all these things on canvas, larger, smaller, um, but it's a very good way to practice on, uh, on simple printing paper. I will explain you why. Because we learn to, um, to be successful and to take care of everything around us. Um, but we don't need this <laughs> in painting. And um, if you use expensive or, or materials or materials with a big value, you are a little bit afraid to do mistakes. So if you, for the first steps, if you use a single normal paper, um, it's, I think it's more easy for you to, to, to be loose, to be free, to work free, because yes, you, you, you are not afraid about mistakes. But additionally, there are no <laughs> mistakes. There are only um, little beautiful accidents. Um, I have some water here. Okay, so, and I will show you also in English uh, something about my colors because it's, um, it's important to know. I have a uh, acrylic color, a very cheap one. Um, and I will show you this. Take a look what my color is doing um, and to the consistency of the color. I have another brand of color here and it's another quality of color. Okay, so you can see that the color is doing a different thing. It looks different. So th this is a dark and blue and this is a black one, but um, you see that it's different from the consistency. Can you see this? <laughs> Hello, Kim. Okay, you can see that this is running down and um, here the color keeps his shape there. So if you use a different color than me, maybe you get a different, uh, something different um, in your work. And it's important for me that you know it has not to be your mistake. Um, so maybe it's only the color because you get, you get something different, okay? So, are you ready? Can we start? So I will use these bows and um, now I take this one here, okay? So it's really, it's for beginner. If you, if you are already an artist and painter, you know all these things that I show here. Um, and if you know one of my YouTube videos, the most successful uh, with over 1 million views, you know all these steps that I show here. Um, but also for you, I will do an, a further live. Um, okay, so. Let me talk a little bit about my paintbrush. I take my color, like you can see here, and uh, let us start with a little accident. You see this um, a lot of times in my abstract work, that I take a lot of color like this and I do something like, <laughs> like this. And it would be very great if you do it like me. <laughs> um, 
it's only to to open the game and to to be playful and um, not so serious okay and even if you see this blot here like this I can do something of it believe me um I do two three four moves maybe the further one like this and you see, I have also a flower. Okay? But let, on, let us uh, do it from the beginning. Um, now I take my color here. And your paintbrush is giving you um, different possibilities. And it's important that you understand the language of your paintbrush. So if you move, you are the art director of your paintbrush. If you move your paintbrush brush like this, with a lot of color, you get something like this. Um, but you can also turn your paintbrush around to use this side in this direction. So I clean the paintbrush on the on the uh, on my paper. And um, I take a look to my shape so that it's clean. And now I move, I, it was like that. And now I turn the paintbrush and I move it in this way. And there is no pressure from my side to my, to my paintbrush. I do it like this, okay? Um, and I get something, a line like this. And if I clean my brush, It works like a stencil. Now it's more like this. That's important to understand and um, to practice with something like that. And um, even if you have only a little small little paintbrush like, like that, it's possible to do large things because you can double your line. Because if I take some more color and uh, I place a new shape directly close to the other one I become larger okay so here I had a lot I have to change the paintbrush because look at this the brushes in my studio um, are way too long in the water don't keep me as uh, example in this way and therefore every time some this is coming down. So I change the paintbrush. I use this one now. <laughs> um, okay, here we had a lot of um, a lot of color on the paintbrush. You can do the same thing if you take the color, clean the paintbrush a little bit on the paper or on a paper towel like this, and you do the same thing. You see that it looks different. And if you understand this, um, you can use it. Okay, I do it very slowly now. Watch the hair of the paintbrush. There is no additional pressure from my side. Okay, so I get a line. Um, but this paintbrush is able to give me much more because um, I turned the paper so you can see every shape um, a little bit longer. Now I take new color. I can also work only with the edge of my paintbrush like this. I press it down and in my move I remove the paintbrush from the paper and I get a shape like this. Mm. but I can also start with my paintbrush in this way and I start my move and in my move without stop I turn the brush and I turn it back in the same move and I remove it from the paper and I get a shape like this so this is a beautiful leaf that we need for our floral, floral painting okay 
Um, <clears throat> I will show you this in a different um, example. So I remove this. So for the German speaking people, this is to see. Ja, ihr findet das deutsche Video 24 Stunden in der Insta Story, wo man es auf YouTube findet, weiß ich nicht. So, zurück dazu. Draw one line, two lines on paper. This is only for, for your practice, okay? And now I take the other color, the blue. It's a better quality. Okay, but we do the same. You can use your little finger to press it down on the paper. So it helps you to get the control about um, how uh, to find or to keep the good distance um, and the good press pressure on your brush, um, the good distance of the paper. Okay, so place your paintbrush like this and start your move without pressure. And in your move, you turn your brush and try to keep this line always in the middle of your move and turn it back and you get this. You can also start from here, it's the same thing, and the back. And you can see that I get some beautiful things like that um, because of the dry brush, okay? So you can practice these things and um, if you know to do it, you do then something like this or you go in this direction, okay? It works in a lot of different ways. So now my interest is to paint a little flower. Um, so I think that, um, yes, we can, I, I, I don't know um, how is the word in English, the top from a little house. How is the word? Can somebody tell me this? <laughs> so we can um, paint a letter. Place your paintbrush. Roof. Thank you, Linda. Um, I learned something new. Roof. Yes. But this, this is a uh, Y. Yes. Right? That's a Y. Ah, my little son is there. I look it. <laughs> okay, but you can also paint a roof. Okay, different direction. You start from here and you do it. You can go like this or you can also start here and do it there. And now remember what I was showing you, um, what I was showing you there, that you can double your lines um, so that you get another shape. Um, I can double these lines. In fact, if I use new color and I place my paintbrush very close to my first shape and now I become larger. Okay, I do it here also. And here you get something like this when you remove the pressure from your hand um, and when your brush is dry, and I do the same thing here. I double this line, and here too, okay? If you are working just in time with me, you should now get something like this. It's okay for you. It's easy to follow, I hope. Um, let me know this. I love to communicate with you. Um, Okay, then you can close also your shape there and here I can close it. And um, we can paint a further little shape here. Zack. That's what I was showing you before. And now what we need is um, this is there this little shape what I was showing you to to work only with uh, with the edge of your paintbrush because oh, I will turn it like this um, because if you place your paintbrush down and you do something like this we need this little shape now okay 
But let me show you that also this is of value and you are able to do something beautiful of it. Because you can place your paintbrush. Okay, that's not so. Do it like this. These are little flowers too. Okay. So do things like that only to for for practicing and play with your color and with um, your with your paintbrush like a child. Okay, back to our further floral floral shapes. Um, no, I use again. I use my paintbrush only with a corner to make something like this, and here also. Okay. I take new color and I remove a little bit of color from my brush so I take care again that I have a clean shape on my brush here and then now I place my paintbrush and I whoop, pull it down and I can do it here like this also. You can see that it's it's possible to paint flowers um, upside down. Okay, what we need more are some some leaves, and I use what I was showing you before. Now I use these things. I place my paintbrush. I start. I turn it in the move and I turn it back and there is my floral leaf. I add a second one. You can do it like you want to do it. If you have to like it, nobody else. It's your reality, it's your painting. Okay? And here I can do a, f a flower of it. That's right. But it can be so easy, if you understand the language of your paintbrush, it can be so easy to, to create beautiful things. So let me show you this, also in English, I was showing it in German before. Place your paintbrush down, only with a corner, and remove it so that you have a shape like this. And then you place it in this way, and you move your hand to the right, like this, and maybe you can, or um, can now imagine what we will get here. Now I use my paintbrush and a brush stroke like this, okay? And now something like that, and I move it. Oh, this lady has big, large hands. I can close it like this, and now we need some legs. This is everything here is in the brush and you are able to do it like me. Um, yes, and I can add some hairs here or whatever, some, something here. It's up to your fantasy. <laughs> okay, you see what is possible to get. Um, by understanding the language of your brush. And every brush has his own language. That's the reason that I don't give a paintbrush away even if they look, uh, okay, have I, even if they look like this. I keep them all. Okay, now what do we need? If you know my work, you, um, you know that I have little splatters always in my work. So this is the only moment where I use um, water. So I add some water, you can see it, but yeah, I use water. <laughs> no. And I have to try it by my own also be before I go in my work because it's always different. It depends on the mixture that you have, how many water you add. Okay. I love it like this. Tick. And also you can um, add it to your person here. Okay. And 
what you can also do is to write something here you use a, a pencil or a black fine liner or whatever an ink pen um, I don't know if it's to see in the camera and yes that's it. Um, sunflowers in my garden okay it has not to be readable it only has to be beautiful <laughs> okay now um, you have to practice this and it works with a lot of different shapes and flowers and things and uh, let me show you why it is of value to practice this on on a paper like that oh it, I love black flowers so I have to to use new black color let me know in the comments what you think about I will read everything so I go to save um, this video in my Instagram story I don't know how it works on YouTube to save it and to keep it visible ah Farah Bon, bonsoir. Oui, je, je n'ai pas beau, je n'ai pas assez de gens qui parlent français. Autrement, euh, je ferai aussi toute chose aussi en français parce que you know, <laughs> mon papa est français. Um, maybe you learn English with me. Peut-être tu apprends l'anglais avec moi. So, um, now I skip to the German. <laughs> Let us do a further one in black. Um, okay, I do it a little bit faster. Just to show you that everything um, is, is beautiful. I do the same things that I was showing you before. I don't do something different. I do this for a long time, so it's a little bit more easy for um, for me. But if you do some practice, it will become as easy for you like it is for me. Okay. Some splatters again. Maybe this is a little bit too much. But then you go over this. Zack. Okay, so what you can do, you have beautiful little gifts. If you do some practice on paper and you need a birthday gift or something like that, you take a frame like this. Take a look at this. It looks beautiful. It's a lovely, beautiful gift. Um, and you can write something here on your frame. And I prepared something further for you. Uh, Okay, I did a mistake. Do, do, do. Give me a minute. I am still there. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, mm. Ah. <clears throat> I have some cardboard um, cards here. To be an artist is a little bit to, uh, to be like like a messy because we keep everything for one day. Andrea, you know from what I'm talking uh, wrong. That's what I need. I need a card. Okay. So I do the same thing like before. I leave it here so that you can see it a little bit in the camera. Okay. I do a little bit the same thing like before I clean my brush because I love to work in, um, with this dry um, things. I clean the brush here and I do it very small now. I do the same thing like before and let me do a very small one here. I only work with the corner for my brush. Okay. 
and I go down, I turn the paintbrush, I do the same steps like before, a little leaf there, I make something like that, and take a look how beautiful it is, and it takes only, only two minutes, and it looks so beautiful. It's so easy, I promise you, if you um, take your time for some little practice, you will get something like this too, okay? And typical for me, I need some splatters here. So I have a little surprise for you, um, like I did also in the German video. Um, I have a little giveaway for you. So if you would like, you can get one of my paint brushes from me, of my large one. So okay, but one after the other thing. So maybe your brush is falling falling down to your paper because you you don't take care. Something like this will happen. Don't be afraid of this. It's okay because it's acrylic. It's only paper. You can always do something beautiful with it. What would I do personally in this moment? I take further color. I place my paintbrush here and I do something like this. And maybe you can also add something like this here. Okay? Or here I was I was just moving my paintbrush in this direction. I can also do something like this. You have so many possibilities to change your work and nobody would say, oh, a mistake was happened. No, no, it's okay to do something like this. This is making it beautiful. Okay. So maybe you would like to get one of my paint brushes. So you have to do something for it. So I will save this video in my Instagram story. And I would like that you do something like me, that you show me um, if it is of value, what value what I do, and um, if I am able to give you um, some inspiration and if what I explain is good to follow. So I give you one week of practice um, to do it in this way. And then I would love if you upload your painting, your little black flower on Instagram and you tag me with my two accounts. It's my tattoo account and that's my art account. Tag me in this way. Inksabel Tattoo and Zacha Fine um, and add the hashtag Zacha Fine Life. Okay? And I will see everything. If you tag me like this and if you add this hashtag, um, you will be seen by me. But in this moment, um, next Sunday, I will be in Switzerland for uh, a workshop. So maybe it's not so good with the internet connection, so it can be that I, I am not able to give you an answer, um, but I will see everything. So, and then I will, by random, I will choose one of you um, who will get my brush from me, okay? But <laughs> you have a second chance because for me, um, it, it was interesting that you can see what I do here with my hands, but you don't see me. So you don't know how, what clothes I have. Maybe I am naked here or in my, in my swimming suit, or maybe I have uh, a beautiful party dress. Um, <laughs> yes, so also in the next time, Go to my Instagram story, follow my Instagram stories, and there I will put a question, a little quiz, so you can choose what you think, what I am wearing today. If I have my sleeping shirt or uh, something like that. And there I will um, 
give a second paintbrush to a second person of you. Okay, let me show you again what we have done here. Um, where is my first paper? I am, it looks very messy in my working place. Okay, so to bring everything again together so that you can good follow it. Try, take care of how is the quality. You have seen that it works with both qualities of your acrylic. Um, try the shapes that your paintbrush is giving you, is creating you, and then practice a little bit with these shapes, and then do your own flowers of it, okay? Remember, do a lot of them, keep them, and by the way, if you use a frame like this, even this looks like a little small artwork, because let me show you this, I love things like that. If you write down something here, and joy life, for example, and then you add this, how beautiful it can be, okay? So practice with this. Another little happy accident, and <laughs> don't be afraid about this. So I have to, to fix it, because I don't want to keep it like that. So maybe I can add a third flower. Check. You see, you have always the chance to change the rules of your work. It's your reality. Okay? So please, let me know in the comments what do you think about um, if it was easy to follow, and what wishes do you have for the future for live, um, for live streaming? Here we have the eyes that I did in, a, in another um, live. Maybe you would like to have a um, tutorial step by step to follow for an, for something like that. Let me know it. I read everything. Yes, and for the moment, um, I leave you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I would love if you participate to my little games in the future. Um, yes, and um, and I really appreciate your like, your sharing, um, every of your comments. Because an artist doesn't live from color and uh, from creativity alone. So I need you um, and your activity, um, your share, your like, your everything. Um, so that I have the freedom to continue um, doing something like this for free. I earn my money with live workshops in my real life, but I love to keep things like that for everyone, for young people with not so much money. So it's a thing of every follower to, to, um, to give me the support to be able to do it. Yes, so thank you very much in advance. I hope that you like it. I hope that it was helpful. And I will go to my family now and uh, have a little bit of family quality time. So thank you, everybody, that you was here with me. And let me know what you would like to have for the next time. Bye-bye.